Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I'm so happy that you clicked on today's video. It is Monday, so that means it is meal prep day and I have three absolutely out of this world recipes for you. We have breakfast, lunch, and a sweet treat. I'm so excited. I kind of handpicked these recipes this week because they sounded really good. They are WW friendly, clean eating, great on points and calories, and really truly couldn't be better recipes for the upcoming week. So if you are new to my channel, again, welcome. I'm so happy you stopped by. If you could take a moment and make sure that you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on, that way you don't miss a single video. Check out the description box for my website where you'll find all of today's recipes. Thumbs up this video if you love a meal prep and without further ado we've got some cooking to do so let's jump right in this week I'm making a mixed fruit oatmeal bake but we're gonna add some protein powder to up our protein in this recipe to keep us full and satisfied so let me show you what's in breakfast you're going to need some rolled oats unsweetened coconut flakes brown sugar alternative of your choice I love sucre and gold I buy this off of net Trishan's website which is the same place I pick up my favorite fiber gourmet pasta that will be linked down below for you also, I'm gonna use the Forager Cashew Milk for protein. No surprise, I'm using the LiveWell Plant Protein. This is the vanilla. You guys, this is the best protein. It has 17 grams of complete protein, so the best kind of protein you can get. It is only one smart point per scoop. Even though it is plant-based, it does not have that weird chalky aftertaste or any of the, the taste that is associated with plant-based, this does not have it. It is smooth, creamy, delicious. I literally love it so much. So I'm gonna link this down below with 10% off for you guys, but I'm going to add in the vanilla because I think that'll complement this recipe really well. We're also going to need some honey, cinnamon, salt, almonds. You can use slivered or sliced. This is from Nutstop. I will link Nutstop down below as well with 10% off for you guys. I love them. They're such a great company. So I'm going to use these slivered almonds. I decided to go with fresh peaches instead of frozen because I have these from my Imperfect Foods box and I need to use them up. Also, that is linked below as well, but my peaches are going to be fresh. And then I'm going to use some of these frozen blueberries and that is going to be breakfast. I'm so excited for this. It sounds so good so let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is combine our dry ingredients so in my cup here i have two cups of the rolled oats these are the organic rolled oats from thrive to that i'm going to go ahead and add two scoops of the vanilla live well so let me show you the size of the scoop because it's a pretty good size scoop for only one smart point. So I'm going to go ahead and add two of those. That's going to put almost 40 grams of protein in this oatmeal bake. So that is great. That'll give us a little bit of boost of protein per serving. We're going to add in just the tiniest bit of salt one half of a cup of the sucrin brown sugar this brown sugar is a one-to-one -one, so it's exactly the same as you would with regular brown sugar and then we're going to put in about half of the slivered almonds and then go ahead and give that a stir make sure everything is nice and combined and then we'll put together the fruit and our wet ingredients now for the wet ingredients we're going to go ahead and put in our peaches so i went ahead and sliced up those three fresh peaches I have one and a half cups of frozen blueberries and I just threw those back in the freezer while we got everything together. We want those frozen. I have one quarter cup of the honey. So I'm just going to drizzle my fruit with the honey. You can measure this out on your food scale if that's easier than trying to dig it out of the quarter cup here. But I decided just to be accurate because this is one of the things that does have a lot of calories, points, and sugar. So we want to be as accurate as we can be with our honey. I'm going to go ahead and add my quarter cup of toasted coconut flakes to my fruit mixture. I am modifying the original recipe a little bit. And then I'm going to add in my ground cinnamon. I love cinnamon, so 
bring it on and I have my oven currently preheating to 350 degrees so I'm going to get this mixed together get that honey kind of mixed up with the fruit and then we'll reintroduce the oat mixture get this into a baking dish add the milk oh it's gonna be so good once you get that stirred together look at that yum we're gonna go ahead and add in that oat mixture directly to our fruit give it another big stir you want to make sure that your oats get coated not only only with the honey but get introduced really thoroughly with the fruit so I'm going to go ahead and take some nonstick cooking spray I'm just going to spray the bottom of my baking dish I just want to make sure nothing sticks here is that oat and fruit mixture oh, it looks so delicious so I'm gonna go ahead and add that here to my baking dish spread it out as evenly as I can and then we are going to pour the almond milk over the top you can also do this in a cast iron and that would be really good I have a cast iron it's just not big enough to accommodate all of this so I'm just going to do it here in a 9 by 13 baking dish but if you have a large enough cast iron I bet that would be incredible incredible when this bakes out so I am going to spread this out kind of get a little bit into all the corners and then I have two and a half cups of almond milk I am just going to pour that right over the top of the oatmeal bake and then this is going to go in the oven at 350 degrees until it is baked and cooked all the way through the liquid here from the almond milk will cook the oats make them nice and soft and then lastly before it goes into the oven I am going to add the remaining half of a half of a cup of my slivered almonds just right to the top the original recipe suggests that you toast the almonds but I'm going to just let them cook in the oven with the oatmeal bake so there it is let's get it in the oven oatmeal bake is out of the oven doesn't this look so good it's just bubbly around the edges you can see the almonds got a little toasted on top Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna let this rest cool a little bit. This entire pan makes only six servings, so it's going to be quite a large serving for the points. I'll go ahead and get this into my meal prep containers and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is breakfast. Oh my goodness, does this look so good. Look at that. It is delicious. I just tried it. I mean, it's really, really good. It is sweet. So you could cut down on the maple syrup. You could even use sugar-free maple syrup. I think if I made it again, just because I did add protein powder as well, I probably would do an eighth of a cup of syrup, which would save quite a bit of points, calories, and sugar. So just a little pro tip for you, but oh my gosh, I am so excited for breakfast. So one sixth of the mixed fruit protein oatmeal bake is nine smart points on both blue and green, and only six points on purple because you don't have to count the oats and it is 333 calories per serving and I'm just pairing that with some blueberries so yeah I'm excited so this is breakfast for lunch this week I'm making cheesy taco meatloaf I'm combining my love of a meatloaf and tacos into one amazing dish. I'm so excited for this lunch. I'll pair this with a veggie, but let me show you what is in the meatloaf. First, you're going to need a pound of 93% ground beef. This is the grass-fed, grass-finished organic from Walmart. I love this ground beef, you guys. It's affordable and it's really, really good. You're going to need some light shredded cheese. Salsa, I'm going to use this Trader Joe's organic salsa salt and pepper as well as some chili powder and some tortilla chips so these are the ones that i have these are the siete in the sali limon and these are really really good i think it's going to be a nice added little touch of flavor to the meatloaf so let's make some cheesy taco meatloaf so for the meatloaf i went ahead and added the one pound of the ground beef to a medium to large size bowl to the ground beef we are going to add one serving of tortilla chips this is the siete i went ahead and just measured it out on my food scale i'm just going to kind of crush these up as i put them into the meat mixture and then i'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of salt and pepper 
Oh, I'm so excited for this. Those chips smell so good. And then I'm going to add half of the jar of salsa and reserve the other half to top the meatloaf with. And then a tiny bit of chili pepper. I don't like my food very spicy. So if you want it a little more spicy, you could grab a hot salsa and you could also add a little bit more of the chili powder. And then we're going to mix this together until everything is combined. We're going to free form our meatloaf on a baking sheet only because it allows the fat to render off during the cooking. So get that nice and mixed together and then we'll form that meatloaf. All right, I pulled the meatloaf out. I am going to go ahead and put the rest of the salsa on top, as well as half of a cup of light shredded cheese. Pop this back in the oven just until the cheese is melted. So here is the cheesy taco meatloaf. You guys, this looks incredible. This makes four servings, so it's quite a large serving. I'm going to cut it into four slices, pop it in my meal prep container, and I'll be back to show you exactly what I'm having for lunch, give you points and calories. Okay, so here is my lunch. Look at this. This is quite a big hunk of the cheesy taco meatloaf. I'm excited, you guys. This looks really good. It smells delicious. I did not cook my meatloaf 100% through. I don't know if it's hard to tell on the camera here, but it is a little bit underdone. That's because when I go to warm it up, I don't want it to be overcooked. So I like to cook my meatloaf just a little bit underdone. So I have one slice of the meatloaf, and then I went ahead and chopped up some celery because I'm going to have some of my Kite Hill dip and French onion. I can't wait to try this. By the time you guys see this video, I would have tried it. So I'll let you know on the screen here what I think. I've had the ranch and absolutely loved it. You can have two tablespoons for one point. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of the dip, and then I'm just going to dip my little pieces of celery in there, and that is going to be my lunch. I may have a fruit. We'll just kind of see how hungry I am. But let's go over points and calories for the meatloaf. It is seven smart points per slice of the meatloaf on both blue and purple and eight points on the green plan 270 calories so very low calorie lunch with a big dose of protein which is what i like and then adding in a little bit of this dips with the celery is going to be nice as well so this is a lunch for the week For a snack this week, I'm going to be making a cranberry rice bars. I'm excited for these. This is a spin on a granola bar. It's going to be delicious. It's all real, whole, clean ingredients. So let me show you what's in our snack. The recipe calls for egg white powder, which I don't have any, but I have this meringue powder, which is pretty close, except this does have a little bit of added sugar. So I'd recommend picking up egg white powder if you can find it. But since I have this on hand, I'm going to use that. A mix of both creamy peanut butter and creamy cashew butter. You could also use almond butter or really any nut butter. Coconut oil, you can also substitute applesauce and really, really cut down the points. I'll show you guys that at the end if you take out the coconut oil and add in the applesauce, but I am going to opt to use the coconut oil. No sugar added cranberries. These ones are delicious. These are from the Thrive Market. There's a link down in the description box for Thrive where you get $20 worth of anything you want off of the website when you join. So highly recommend Thrive. 30% less than most grocery stores and they have thousands of great healthy options. And these cranberries are one of those amazing things that I cannot find anywhere else. So this again is from Thrive, which is linked down below. And then I have these organic rice puffs. You could also use Rice Krispies or really any kind of rice cereal. So let's make some bars. So for the bars, it is very simple. I went ahead and measured out a quarter cup of the peanut butter and a quarter cup of the cashew butter on my food scale. I just did it directly in the bowl. It is so much easier. This is my food scale. This is the Red Rock Bamboo. I love this scale. It even does milliliters, ounces, fluid ounces, grams, pounds. I love this. I'll link this down below for you. I think it was less than $20 on Amazon. Love it. So I went ahead and measured out the nut butter. I'm going to add two tablespoons of the crispy rice cereal. 
one quarter cup of the egg white powder, two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. And again, you can go ahead and opt for applesauce, save yourself some points. And then two tablespoons of the no sugar added craisins or cranberries. So we're going to stir this all together, get everything nice and combined. This is a no bake bar. So we're just going to put this into a pan, toss it in our refrigerator for about two hours, cut it into five delicious bars. So it's very, very simple. So get everything nice and combined, grab out a pan and let's get these in the refrigerator. So we're going to go ahead and add the bar mix to a piece of parchment paper that will prevent it from sticking. It'll be a little easier for us to get it off of the parchment once we cut it into bars. So we're gonna add this on, spread it out and toss it in the fridge. Yum, look at this, it looks so good. I tried a little bit of the spoon, amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator for about two hours, then we'll cut it into bars. All right, our bars are out of the fridge. Look at these. So I was thinking while these were setting up in the fridge, if you use unsweetened applesauce in place of coconut oil, I don't know that they would set up because the coconut oil is what helps them solidify and become a harder bar but if you try that out definitely let me know it'll definitely save you some points but i'm going to cut these into five bars this recipe only makes five servings i'll be back to show you the serving size and give you the points and calories so the bars are cut into five bars so look at it's this whole strip so you could even lower the points continue to use the coconut oil but cut this again in half making 10 bars but let's go over points for what we have here what i was thinking with these is either use these as a pre or post workout snack or you could even have this for breakfast with some fruit and some eggs for zero points so each of these bars is eight smart points on all plans so again if you cut them down the middle and made 10 bars they would only be four smart points this is all whole food you have a ton of nut butter which is fat good fats and protein you have the rice cereal for that crispiness the cranberries now, if you decided to do applesauce instead, they would only be five points. But again, I'm not sure about them setting up, to be completely honest. So I would recommend if you want to lower the points, just cut these into 10 servings instead. And that's still, I mean, that's still a really good sized bar. So I'm excited for these. Even my husband is excited to have these this week. So there you go. 261 calories per bar or about 130 if you cut this into 10 servings. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited as I am for this week's recipes. Also, make sure that you stay tuned for Wednesdays What I Eat in a Day because I'll have another recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you there. Again, the, my website is down in the description box below. Just click the little down arrow under the video and that'll bring you to the description box. My website is pinned at the very top of the description box. You're also going to find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things, including some of the things that I shared with you today and the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our community over there. We are 16,000 strong. It is so much fun. We have lots of good things coming your way in the next few weeks. So head over and join us again. If you're new, I'd love for you to stick around, subscribe, hit the little bell next to it. So you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I do meal prep every single Monday. So you don't want to miss out on three delicious recipes. Thumbs up this video. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it. It helps my channel out. So thank you. And of course, I'll see you all in Wednesday's what I eat in a day. Have a fantastic Monday and I'll see you then. Bye guys.